researching, um, you say they selected without being with them. Um, isn't that your law of attraction as well as to who comes to a person? And Certainly. But if, if, if a person came to me and said, I want to be healed, and I'd ask them, I, my first question would be, do you want to deal with your emotions? Now, if they said, oh, well, I'm hoping you'll heal me, you know, I won't have to deal with my emotions. <laughs> I would have to say, to them, well, actually, your problem is caused by your emotions. Do you realise that? And I'd have that discussion with them and look at their willingness to actually address that issue. If they can't address that issue, then I will not heal them. Now, the reason why is, if I choose to, I'm out of harmony with divine love. And I don't want to be out of harmony with divine love. And this is where in the future many people are going to become confused with the healings that are performed by people, or well, the 14 who have returned. Because all of their healings will be based in harmony with all the laws of divine love. And at times we will refuse to heal people. And in the first century there is records in the Bible that I actually refused to heal people. And I did that for that reason. They were totally unwilling to deal with the emotional condition that's creating the problem. And usually had a demanding nature where they were demanding my healing to them and some of you have had personal conversations with me where you've demanded things from me and not found me very receptive <laughs> to that and that is because it's an unloving thing for you to demand something of someone else and I don't want to help you be unloving by actually giving you what you demand right? and this will happen a lot in your own interactions when you're healing does that make sense? So, so so, yes, your law of attraction brings this person to you. However, your law of attraction might have brought them to you to test one thing inside of you, and that is whether you're going to compromise truth for the sake of money, for example. So it might not be the person coming to you for healing that is your law of attraction. It might actually be that there is a certain quality inside of you that needs to be refined that this person, through your interaction with them, will refine. Doesn't that put me in a place of judgment on that person as to whether, like, you know, I work with body and emotion work, as you know, um, and many times people have come for help, people come for a body problem, um, and I haven't continued to treat them. But the first time I've, I've worked on them and they found some emotion, and I thought that that was Yeah, but see, the question I'm asking you is, when you know the divine laws, and you know what the divine laws are actually saying to you at an emotional level, right? So at the moment, you don't know them at the emotional level, so it's fine what you're doing. But when you know them at the emotional level, you are going to be confronted with this question, ethical question, which is, am I going to get myself out of harmony with divine love in order for them to get in, to, to be healed? Now, love, one of the things we talk, we talk about lessons of love in a fortnight's time, and one of the lessons of love is, if I'm loving you to the detriment of myself, then that's not love anymore, and I'm doing it for another reason. And it's also going to be not a very powerful place for you or I to be in. So that is a question that will face you ethically. Right? I'm not saying you have to deal with that question right now, but at the moment there's a feeling in you, if I can heal, then that's fantastic. But I don't feel that. I don't feel that. Because their law of attraction has caused their disease. In fact, the way I see it is that God's laws have caused their disease through their interaction with God's laws. Their choices, interacting with God's laws, have created the disease. And the question I'm asking myself is, is God healing them? Now, God loves every one of his children. And if he's not healing you, there's a, there's a question as to what I should be doing healing you. Can you see that? Right. So I would rather address the emotional issues in you as to why God's not healing you. And then God can heal you directly and you don't even need me at all. That would be a far more powerful place for the person than me actually healing them. And that's, my, that's the, the ethical dilemma that you would face as a healer. 
Does everyone follow that? Like, you can see that interaction. So, so what's actually happening for us most of the time when we're doing, dealing with these questions is we have a needy feeling inside of myself. We, we feel a compassion for that illness. We have a needy feeling in my side of myself to heal that illness. But we're often not very much thinking or feeling about why God isn't already healing this illness. Because God has a lot more power than you do to heal. So the question then becomes, why isn't God doing it? There must be a reason. Now if I do it without addressing those reasons, then I'm going to be out of harmony with God's will. Sorry? Only treating the symptoms. I'm only treating the symptoms, the effects, and not the cause for a start. But also I'm out of harmony with God's will for that person. Because the truth is our law of attraction is bringing us everything anyway. So, when I'm healing, and this applies to my mediumship as well, if I'm focusing on what God would do in this situation, right, as well as, as best to my ability, what is God doing right now? Do you, think, do you think if I needed to be healed right now, and there wasn't something in me resisting that healing, don't you think God would be healing me already? Like, does God love me or not? Of course God does, so God would be healing me already. So if I'm not healed, so I'm not healed from this, right? From this. So why aren't I healed from this? Because I have resistance. There's something in me that's resisting me getting healed from this. Now let's say I go, I go to a healer, I want my eyesight healed. And let's say it's a divine love healer on the divine love path, who's at one with God. And what would they have to ask themselves? I'm on the divine path, they're on the divine path. I've got bung eyes that I can't see the back of the room and they've got clear sight, they're at one with God, I'm both, we're both on the path, why isn't God healing me? Because I'm resisting it. There's an emotion in me that I'm not willing to deal with that is causing this issue. And it is wrong for them to interfere with that process? Not interfere with the process. They could tell me what the emotion is. That would be a very powerful thing to do. They could, they could even help me. They could say, now, are you willing to deal with this emotion? And if I said yes, and I felt yes, they could say, all right, let's go ahead and we'll deal with this emotion. And away I'd go and I'd be dealing with the emotion and I would get healed. That's a very powerful thing to do. But if I said, if they said, are you willing to deal with the emotion? I'd say, what emotion? I don't have any emotions left. I'm right. You know, then I've got an issue, haven't I? I'm not recognising my own law of attraction. So it then becomes very questionable for the person who's at one with God to heal me. How can they stay at one with God and heal me? They can't, actually. And so they would have to, actually, at some point, confuse, unless I was willing to do, bring myself in the condition of harmonious with God's love myself. Can everyone see that? Yeah. That interaction that's going on there. So the question you ask yourself, God has this unlimited power, right? God has this unlimited love for you. So if you're not getting healed right now, why? It's because of something you're resisting inside of yourself. Now, if I know what that is, I'm going to try to tell you what that is. Because that is an act of love for me. Right? And if you know what it is for someone else, it's an act of love for you to tell them what it is. For them too. But if you try to heal them using this love that you have, this divine love, it won't be God's love that you'll be doing. You'll be using your own energy to heal them. Right? And because the soul condition has not changed, they're most likely going to get the problem back anyway.